you're loving me. I know you're hating. She said I was licking his balls. Is what the one said. Who sent me a friend request? No, ma'am. I'm not doing friends, boo boo. It's New Year. Lick his balls. <laughs> Why they get mad at this woman telling the truth? That's what the testimony is called, telling your truth. And I bet you them men going to be in the church trying to get them, trying to get that woman to sell their balls. I can't believe they so mad at her. She told the truth. It's called... <laughs> a testimony. Hey, Jim. Good morning. I'm back at home. <laughs> I'm back home with my weed, my fucking couch. I'm in the fucking bed. Everything was beautiful. It's colder than a motherfucker. But I'm fucking home. That's all that fucking matters. Let me see if I can pop this up. You saw what we looking down. Because I don't have time for that, Jill. I know that you're hating. Hey, I didn't have a bad job. I thought I was taking care of some business. I had work to do. I got a job, baby. What happened to you? Oh, I'm going to see that shit in trash. But hey, Jill. Okay, I'm going to okay, honey. You got off your chest. You feel better now? I hope you do. Praise the Lord for your services and your announcement. Just be happy with life, honey. It's a new year. If you don't like me, just get off. It don't even make sense for you to be on here. Because you just wasted your finger time bothering me. Because I don't give a shit. And you know what's so weird? After I've been in snow and like zero below weather, this cold weather that we have right now, is not even phasing dying black ass. It's not even phasing me at all. It's cool, but what's more cold, colder than anything, is the kitchen floor. I had to go put on socks because my feet were so fucking froze on the kitchen floor. <laughs> me having my cup of coffee, I don't know if you can see it. The thought they're coming out, but it's a lot of coffee. That's a lot of fucking coffee. Ooh. And it's very strong coffee. Fucking strong. Yeah, Jamar, I'm up super early, honey. People been calling me already. Seven something this morning, somebody's sending me messages. So... I gave them the best advice I could give them at that time of the morning. Block. And it was on Insta, uh, Facebook. You can't send me stuff that early in the morning. And it's, oh, I better get this back. And no, there's not no damn chance that a bitch, you're going to get blocked. But now that they have ignored messages, I ignored the messages. Kitchen floor and bathroom floor be the cold, baby. When I say it had froze my fucking foot to the, froze my foot. I hopped off that bitch so quick and went right back in there and found my socks and put them right back on. Because it was too fucking cold for me and I couldn't take it. And then you, you walking on the ground and your feet like this because you don't want your toes to touch it. Yeah. Nobody have time for that. Mm -mm. 
I need to cut my nose hairs today too. Follow you. I can't follow you like this. Because I can't follow you like this. It is the new year. I go through this stuff liking people every blue moon. I see it's a lot of kids, so I don't, I'm not going to be liking kids, following kids. That's kind of, you know, pedophile. No tea, no shade. I can't be following the kids. The kids are babies. Babies are kids. What? Oh, here it is. I'm going to say, uh, uh. So let me see. Need to cut. I do need to cut my nose hairs. I can't stand that. They see a drag queen, her nose hair just sticking out like that. What I just do with my lighter, Lord Jesus? Please bless me so I can bless this blunt. Here it is. And when I got up like that, see, that's a nose hair. She gray. See that nose hair? There ain't no bigger. That's a nose hair. And she long as fuck. Because the other day, she was coming out. I'm like, what is that? It was a nose hair. But at the airport, they cut my, they took my scissors, they took my eyelash glue, which is bonded glue, and they took my Listerine because I had that in my backpack to take on the plane. They were like, boop, step to the side. I'm like, fuck, what the fuck is in this bag? Took that shit right out. Well, I be damned. So they took my jib, so I have to buy that today, some eyelash glue. Some more Listerine. I can't believe they took it. He's like, you want to check your bag? No, ma'am. Because if I check this bag at this hour, I'm not going to get this bag back. And I have a show to do. And I'm not in the mood to go through my secret stash and be trying to, you know, come up with creativities and things. Look at this. I think this cord is five feet long for my cell phone. I bought it was ten dollars. And it was five feet long. Or maybe three feet. No, I think it's three feet. Yeah, I think it's three feet. Three yards long. Like one. That's one yard. Yeah, three yards long. Long ass cord. So, to charge my gym, I need to get dressed just to go go broke. I know that you're hating. Do you travel with weed throughout? No, ma'am. No, sir. I don't think it's, I don't want to do that. And there's really no need to because everywhere I go, I know somebody who smoked weed, so I have a connection. And then when I do shows, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, people give me weed, you know. They be like, hey, Jish, and they slide it. Oh, thank you, Jish. And sometimes, you know, we smoke right outside the club, and it's good. Well, you know, California is warm. It's cool, but it's not cold like New York, baby. I'm sorry you in, the, in the, uh, New York, but baby, I will not be there. And I think I lied again, so I'm just going to tell my lie. I said I wasn't going to Detroit this weekend. I lied. I will be in Detroit. And the city is Warren, Michigan, is where I'm going to be. I'm not looking to come to no club. Well, I may go to the club because I'm there early. And it's not, I'm not doing a show so I can pop up anywhere I want to and do drag if I feel like it and all that. But considering the fact that it's going to be below, below, 
I can't do it. See, that weather, 12 degrees, you need somebody to hold on to. I know I do. Because it's cold as fuck. Did I take a nap at work? No, you can't take a nap at work. You want to get fired at work? Because I have a pageant that I'm trying to do. That's the only reason why. And I'm sitting here like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it. But I want to fucking do it. Shit. Fuck it. The cold ain't going to get... Lord, <laughs> we already talked. You know what I mean? The cold ain't... Fuck it. I've been in the cold. The cold ain't bad. You just walk in the car, into the room. Turn on the heater, you're fine. So I would be okay with that part. Um, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Fuck it. I'm going to enjoy 2018, enjoy my life. I had a couple of people like, I don't think you should do this. I don't think, well, I didn't ask you what you think, boo-boo, with my life and my money. It's my life and my money, honey. So let me do what I want to do with mine. You do what you do with yours, and I promise you, you're going to be so happy, and I'm going to be happy with mine. Bring you an electric blanket. You know what? I thought about that, but I'm going to be in the hotel room anyway, so I'm going to be froze. I mean, I'm going to be warm. Have you brushed your teeth since this morning? I sure have. I brushed my teeth when I got up, before I started doing this, and before I started doing my coffee. You have to. I've been up since seven, baby. I don't want to smell my own fumes coming out. I don't smoke cigarettes, so they don't think of nothing. I don't smoke cigarettes. I smoke weed, and I brush my teeth. I use Listerine and Peroxide. After I brush, thank you very kindly, I try to knock out everything because I'm a big food eater, and all between your teeth you get food. So you have to floss between there, which I didn't do yet. But no, sorry, boo-boo. I don't do the breath. I don't do the, all that stuff. Child, it, that's a kid. Let that kid be on here and say dumb shit. They probably getting their ass whipped at school, you know, getting bullied and shit. Don't have nobody to turn to. You know, nothing. They on here, they, they don't love themselves enough to be their own name, to be who they are. They going through a lot of problems. Let them vent on me. It's all right. Baby, <laughs> they can't even do this. They living at home with their parents. Can't even come out and say they gay. Let that person vent. They need to get that shit out their chest. They don't know what they're doing. Oh, uh, thanks, Jeff. But I'm going to get a root canal. I have to get a root canal. And I'm getting my gums clean. A gum cleaning. Because I haven't had one, I think they said, in three years. And it's time. But they said I have no cavities. None. Not a one. Just this root canal. That's it. I was happy because I was like, bitch, I don't want nothing else wrong with this mouth, honey. Please. She was like, no, you're fine. Everything is nice and strong and healthy. She asked me, was I still using peroxide? I sure am. Been doing that for years. I still use a little baking soda, too. If you don't have toothpaste, get you some peroxide, uh, baking soda and get you some peroxide and a little water. Make a little paste and go for it. Your teeth will be white. You have to. Fuck that. You got to get your shit in order. It's a, if you want a fresh start, this is the fresh start of a new year. Start doing what you got to do. So proud of my friend. They called me last night. Bitch, I'm in the gym. I said, call me, bitch, and let me see you. And she was, bitch, you did what you said. Just, girl, just do it, baby. 
She was like, bitch, I'm about to be right for the summer, bitch. I'm telling you, girl, don't wait. Quit talking about it. Do it. It's simple. I do it all the time. Bakers are always with toothpaste. Yeah? And no Tino shade, no pink lemonade. You put baking soda in your fucking laundry. When you washing your whites, put some baking soda in there. Pour that shit up in there. Watch how white your whites come out. Watch how bright your colors will come out. Yes. Bacon soda is an old trick that used to go around for years and years and years. <coughs> Bacon soda to flow and scrub on your knees. Get it, get it, get it. Watch that shit brighten up. It tells you on the box what all it can do. And the bacon soda shit is the best shit out there. It's very old school, but it works. Just type in like on Google or I don't even know Facebook, man. I mean Twitter or not Twitter. What's that? Yeah, not Yahoo. What is that? YouTube may have different things you could use bacon soda for. It's amazing. Heartburn. Warm water with a little bacon soda. That's going to break that up. You're going to throw that up. Upset stomach. Little bacon soda water. You're going to throw that shit right back up. I learned that from somebody because I had heartburn one time. That bitch is like, oh, that bitch did. I'm talking about my nephew now. That hoe checked out on me too. Damn. But... <clears throat> He was like, Annie, you need to drink some baking soda and water. Because I'm like, bitch, I'm going to rip my own shit up out of my chest. I had that shit like three seconds later, bitch, I was back over my trash can. Didn't do that again because I don't like throwing up. So, well, boop, give me give me them little pills. I hate pills, but give me them pills. And give me some warm water so I can swallow this shit down real quick. So nothing gets stuck up in here. I feel like. If I'm asked, yes. Now we're down with Drag Race. But oh, I just injure it do clean your baby. It keeps your things sparkly. I haven't used that yet. And they kicking ass because I've been in bleach. So they really nice and shiny from my point of view. But you know what the best thing, though, is when you washing dishes and that water hot and you may have just a, you know, put a little bleach up in there, a bleach. Baby, your nails and your cuticles, you can get all that shit off. I want to sit at the fucking table and tell my lady, get it. But of course, I was at home. She was gone. Just, I'm doing a university project <clears throat> from a final year on drag. Could I interview you? Maybe. <clears throat> it's not for eight. Um. Yeah, what you want to do? Video me? Well, you can't call me because you're in the UK. You can video chat me. We could do we could do it that way, if you want, which I kind of prefer. But if you want to send me just questions and stuff, I could just answer back or video them back or whatever you want. Just tell me. You know, I got you. Whatever I could do to help your ass pass or, you know, get your project right. Let's do it, Jeff. Now, some people ask me dumb shit. Can I write this about you? I'm like, no. Find somebody else, Jeff. Because it ain't, it just shits and giggles. I don't want to do shits and giggles right now when it's about education. We're trying to keep people aware. But let me know. I got you. Oh, yeah. Very, baby. Very humble. Which is just me just being me. I don't, I don't see the need to get a big head over something that's part of life. You know, it's, it's part of life. So why are you getting a big head over it? And treating people like shit. 
And I have some people treat me like shit, but I tore that ass up. Bitch, your balls is pushed up in yeah. Pull them down because you got attitude. And apparently your ass, your head is stuck up your balls too. It won't be until like late <clears throat> in the year, my baby. Just let me know. I got you. Just say, bitch, it's time to record. And then <laughs> we go <gonna> record. <laughs> and I'm just going to tell you the truth. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. But no, you know I'm down with that. Can I ask you a question? How do you spend? How much do you spend over here? Just how many grams do you buy? Okay, well, I don't buy grams. But I'm going to tell you why. In the Cala and the fucking Fournia, we have this right here, which is about, let me just give you an example, y'all. See, we have this right here in California. And this right here, I believe, I'm just going to say an ounce of marijuana for $21. So, me, myself, and I, I spend $21, and I get that big old nice bag, and when I open it, it's just like, you know, nice, you know, whatever. And that's all I really buy. Unless I want to splurge out and go get me some of them nuggets and stuff. You know, something big, like $40 a, a gram or something like that, which is really outrageous to me. And I would get something like that every blue moon. But for me, I don't need the high-grade weed. You know what I mean? I Just give me some, I've been smoking dirt weed, baby, since I've been smoking weed. People growing that shit in their fucking attics and their fucking garages. You lift up the box, they're going to weed. <clears throat> you know, marijuana is marijuana. It's reefer, whatever. It's been, it, whatever they had back in the day, I was smoking that weed back then. And that shit altered my system. And I don't need that high grade shit to alter me, you know? But I'm very, you know, give me the cheap shit. It's still going to work for me. In no shade, you get more. And I like it because a lot of people say, oh, I can't, I can't smoke that. And it's not even bad weed. It's really the shake of the shit that they're selling y'all. Sells, you know, $60 for a little, a little vow. Like, let me show you for an example. This little container. And as you can see, it's weeding here, right? This little bit right here was $25. 25 or 21 You tell me. Well, you may have to smoke five blunts to get the high you may need. But, baby, by the time I'm on five and you got your one or two, you out of weed. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to find it. It's Mega. Oh, here it is. It's Mecca. Mecca on Washington. I don't know if you get the phone number or not. But this is it right here. And they open at 9, they close at 2 a.m. every day. Phone number 323-937-0299. Mecca. Address 5650 West Washington Boulevard. Los Angeles, California, 90016. They have buy one, get one freeze, up to 60 plus strands, all of that. Oh, but get this gag of the nation of the nation of the gag. I have one, all this shit, and it's another bow 
Oh, it's over there. I want all this, and this is like $100 worth of stuff. I want that, because I didn't pay for that. I want this joint. I want the cookies. I want this key, but I'm not going to smoke that. And then I, roll, I got another five pre-roll blunts yesterday on uh, New Year's. Walked up in there, and I have bought these right here. I had gave my friend two because he needed two. But I had bought five, right? But my friend needed two, so I gave him two. But I had bought those, and they were like, oh, you get to roll the dice. Roll the dice. I'm like, oh, let me go back to the hood. So I go back to, you know, early 80s when I was rolling dice out there, you know, snatching people's lunch money. Blow on them. Rock, 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 pow. I hit two leaves. That was a grand prize. I hit the grand prize. First person of the new year. And they said not too many people hit it. Baby, I play craps. Do you understand me? I lost some money, and I started fucking their asses up. I started getting it. Pop, 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 pow. Some people shake them too long. You got to find that magic number to shake them. One, two, three, four. Four, let them go. And bam. I said, damn, my daddy taught me that. Bop. They were like, oh, oh, what I win? And I was like, damn. They was like, oh, you got the mega. She went in the back. I heard the safe unlocked. I'm like, what's all that? She came out my bag. Bitch, what? Just like that. Spit the hundred, won a hundred. But I don't know, though, Jill. I think this, I think one of these joints, I'm going to have to, uh, the pre rolls I'm going to have to crack that open and mix that with some of this other shit. Because that may be too strong for me. I don't like that strong weed, though. I don't mind smoking it, but... Mm -mm. That's why I have coffee. To wake my ass back the fuck up. Because I hate being, like, slumped over. And, you know, just high. You don't want to do shit. You just want to be the fucking couch and just be still. Nah. I want to be bouncing off the fucking wall. But that's the marijuana. The other things. Other people don't fuck with all these. Yeah, they don't fuck with all these different strands of shit. Because you really don't know what the fuck that shit is. Like, where the fuck this shit come from? You know what I mean? It makes you wonder, but I'm good with some old Bama. You know, give me some old Bama. I'm cool. And I love what people say. I don't, I don't like smoking that. That gives me a headache. Perfect. Because it don't bother me. So that means I can smoke all I want. Don't have to pass my shit while we out. Y'all smoke that loud shit. When y'all shit go, don't come over the top. But let me hit that. Five dollars. Five dollars. I got a five dollar hit. It used to be two dollar hit. Now it's a five dollar hit. Because every bitch in the club that smoke weed should have weed on them in the club. Every time I went out, I had weed with me. Or I knew it was somebody there I could get some weed from. You smoke weed. Why not have it? And they always want to say, can I hit your blunt? No, ma'am. Bitch, you know you smoke. Why you didn't bring none? And that's when I used to charge them $2. But $2, I don't need to smoke. I got mine. You need to smoke. So give me $2. Oh, thanks, babe. I had so much fun in Chicago. Boo, y'all had shown me a lot of love. And get this tea. They gonna have me back. Ain't that something? I gagged. She had called me. She was like, girl, we gonna have you back maybe in like three months or so. Yes, when the sun is out. Well, at least when the snow is gone. If it's cold, I can fuck with the cold. But that snow, baby, when they asked me to come, it was on one of my high moments. When I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. Because even my girl didn't even remind me, like, bitch, you know it's snowing. She didn't say shit. I cussed her ass out, though. But I gave her some love. Though. I thank you, sister, for helping me out. But, bitch, you make sure you know the weather, girl, when they asked me to come somewhere. 
and double check with me, make sure I know. <clears throat> but I'm glad I came though, because I had so much fun. I really did. I just wish I could have hung out with you guys longer, but my flight was so early in the morning. So I had to, baby, I had to go to the room. I had to pack and I had to. But I, you know, was on the wall snapping them pictures though. I did give about a good 30 minutes, but I wanted like, a, you know, two hours. That motherfucker didn't close at five in the morning. But the next side, we're going to fuck it up for show. But thanks for coming out. I appreciate you. And it was nice and packed. I was so like, oh my God, but y'all show me love up in there, Chicago. Ooh, that's strong and nasty. I think it's just too sweet. I'm going to have to wash that sugar. <clears throat> oh, yeah, baby. I'm after this Chicago run, and I already get some jizz up in yonder. I'm cool. I'm cold weather. Mm -mm. If it's not 60 and up, I ain't coming. My mama said, are you going to come to Vegas? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, I'm not. Y'all are cold. They are in their 40s and 50s and probably in 30s in Vegas. Fuck that, too. Girl, please, you better keep your ass in San Diego until it get hot. Because I'm not coming up there. No time soon. Not in this weather. Baby. <sighs> okay, this is the last question, okay? Because I already said I was going to be done with this, but I'm going to answer your question. I'm excited about three. I think it's going to be really good and really funny. Because there's a lot of good people on there, and I know half of them personally. The other ones I just met a few times, and some of them I have never met before today in my life. I'm not just rooting for Kennedy. I'm rooting for all of them. Because this is a big adventure and a big step in their life that could possibly give them a, a step towards whatever dream they have in their life for themselves. But I am rooting for every bitch to win something. Because I told most of them, if you win some type of prize, dealing with cash, and I believe it's $10,000 per winning, give me $5 of that winning. Bottom line, cut and dry. And then I'm going to be hosting some parties, so I'm really excited because by them being on TV, I get to make some money as well. So, boom! There we go. My eyebrows itch. <clears throat> oh, what's going on, nephew? I'm finna roll up. I think this shit over here or the shit I had before... Because there's no way in hell I should feel like one blunt has just got me like this. Like, I'm feeling new attitude already. Ain't that a bitch? I got to get my cut, my scissors. Oh, Lord. Bless me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You know, and I know, and you know, and I know. And once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. I don't need to put that right there, Jay. I need me to do that part. I guess I'm going to bust out one of these new Jay shirts. But I'm going to go buy me some sneakers with some gold <clears throat> on it. Like that metallic gold that's, you know, popping right now. And I want to wear that with my just shirt. Because I had a metallic gold and stuff. And I'm going to post that shit up too so y'all can get the new just so everybody can, you know, be in order. See, and look, this is what I do. I get this and I just cut it down some. This is what you call making a stretch. No shade. Shit. And then if it's anything in there big like it is. Because it'd be nuggets and everything in here. You know, just cut that down. Fuck that. Shit. 
Fuck all that grinder and shit. Now I want my wrists going all that other stuff. Yeah. I guess that's why my fabric be smelling like weed. Because I be cutting my weed up with my, my fabric with my weed scissors. Oh, that's strong. Damn. Yep, that's Jack. And see, you get like these little nuggets in there. So you get your dish. Just some people just not smart when it comes to money. Some people just not smart. Now see, this is everything that you would get once you get it down. That's thick. Look how thick that shit is. Look at that. You see that? Look how thick that is. That's 21 motherfucking dwarfs. Baby, I don't need that, uh, I don't need that shit, that strong ass shit for 60 damn dollars. I get fucked up just with this old Bama shit right here. And it's not bad fucking weed. Y'all understand? I'm like, what do you? I have broke a lot of faces. Uh, I don't, I don't smoke that. I don't smoke that. I don't smoke that. I'm like, well, if you ever smoked with me, bitch, you did. If you ever smoked with me, you have. Because that's all I smoke. And when I do have that high-grade shit, I don't share that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I have those rolled in a separate little thing. Because once they rolled, I always pull them back in my little, you know, thing. You seal it up. You don't smell nothing, right? I have one with the high bama. And I have one with the low Bama. And if they don't, <laughs> I don't pass my high Bama. Every blue moon to like, you know, my my sisters and stuff like that, you know, I call bitch if she, like, but just certain, nah, I don't smoke with everybody anyway, but I do have a, a big family. You know, everybody mouths in my family I don't trust. So they don't smoke with me. Well, I don't smoke with them. But, you know, like my nephew, like he on here now, if he came around, of course, he'd get the Bama. You know, the good, good. But, baby, no, 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 no. I don't pass that like that. I don't pass this low-grade shit. Because you should have your... I don't support your habit, boo. I'm not supporting your habit. We at the bar, bitch. Can you buy me a drink? Uh-uh. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I buying you a drink for? You need a drink. I don't need a drink. No. Mm -mm. I'm not supporting your habit. Now, if I offer to buy you a drink, it's different. But don't come ask me, can I buy you? Because no, then I'm supporting your habit. And if you can't support your own habit, then guess what? You need to cut that habit. Because you can't support it. <laughs> Just tear that ass up, baby. No, ma'am. I may I may have to put that on video. You know, you only smoke with people that have weed too. Yeah, but sometimes I'm like this. You can have your weed, and I can have mine. Sometimes I'm like, you know, with nah, just smoke by yourself because I don't want. You know, sometimes I just want to smoke me a fucking blunt. By my motherfucking self. Shit. There's times when I have friends over. And I would roll, you know, a couple of blunts up, no problem. And um, I'm like, now y'all just share that and I'm going to smoke this. Because I could be in the middle of something while, you know, we passing the blunts. And I ain't got time to be, nah, y'all smoke that and I'm a buff over here. And I just smoke on my fucking own. It did that too is because mixing up a lot of weed for me, it don't do good for me. It gives me a headache when I'm smoking a lot of different type of weed. You got a brand, you got a strand, you got a strand, you got a brand, and all that different shit, my head start hurting. So now I'm good. 
Y'all could go over there and, and see no smoke, but I'm gonna smoke this. I'm just gonna smoke mine. And then with some people, if it's already rolled up, you got that on your own. I'm cool. Even if, no, nah, I'm cool. There's times I didn't have no weed. And I wanted to smoke. And I seen people smoking. But I was like, mm -mm. no ma'am. Because, no ma'am. So I don't, you know, puff on everybody, shit like that. Wait, what video? Oh, damn. What did I say I was going to make a video about? I know it was something about weed. Oh, what was it about? Smoking by yourself? <clears throat> no, nope. I love you too. Now nah, you can't trust everybody. And I always say it from day one, if in, I tell all my friends this, if you ever try to give me something or give me something that I didn't ask for, I'm going to fuck you up, if not kill you. And I say it because I mean it. Because you're, if I see it like this, by you drugging someone, you don't know their history in health. You don't know if there's certain things they're not supposed to have that could do certain. You don't know what's going on, but period. You, um, you're, you're damn near killing that person. Because how you know what you're giving them is not going to kill them. Because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And if you give me something that I didn't ask for and try to be funny and try to, baby, I'm tearing your ass up. I'm killing your mama. I'm killing everybody because I already know I'm going to jail because I'm going to tear your ass completely up so I might as well just say fuck it because I'm going to make your ass know and I ain't going to get you first I got to get everybody else around you and that I don't know why but I have to make that person feel some pain before I get to that ass yeah I'm going the fuck completely. They're going to say that bitch went psycho real quick. Sure did. Don't do that to me. Do not do that to me. I have always said that. That's why I'm saying it here because I have always said that. I'm going ASAP fucking Rocky on whoever ass that was. Your ass is going to get it. And so you're going to feel so much pain. And think of me while, and not even know, you can know I'm doing it. Because this is going to happen so fucking fast and quick. Bitch, I'm going. Lifetime, HBO, Cinemax, the movie theater, crazy on that ass. With the USA ending. Promise you. But don't do that to me. For real. <clears throat> Always said that from high school to now. Because a lot of shit used to go all back in the day, baby. They give a little bitch a little twinkle. And I was, everybody got this twitch and they, mm, mm, mm. no ma'am, not me. Teeth gone, no ma'am. That that's not my brand. That's never been my brand. I don't like the ones who do it, but that just ain't my brand. You can do what you want to do. I don't give a fuck. That ain't my problem. I don't want to do it. And I always tell my friends, if you ever see me on drugs, because you never know what could happen. You know, people do dumb shit. I ain't trying to do no dumb shit. But just if you ever see me on something other than the mirror in the water, <clears throat> or some lick lick, meaning liquor, baby, Get me some help. And I say this to me, we, I'm sober. Get me some help. Don't worry about if I'm cussing you out and swinging, bitch. Just, if you got to knock me out to shut me up, bitch, knock me out. Don't kill me. And put me up in the damn rehab. Get me help. I want help. 
Because I don't want to be what I see other people go through. I don't want to go through that. So give me help and I'll pay you back. Because I told you I want help. And you know, some people, the drugs be telling people that they don't want help. But I'm telling your ass, I want some motherfucking help. Okay? I want help. So I can get back to <laughs> my good life. <coughs> some of those lace. Oh, small lace people. Okay, baby, you got to be careful with that. Yeah, come to L.A. I light my ass up. I, and I've been saying that for years. I've been saying that since high school. Baby, please give me help. Because I said, I've seen a lot of people, you know, toot it, crack pipe it, all that. Peel it, needle it. Okay, well, do because I don't do none of this shit, so I'm at the door. But that was my friends, you know what I mean? I didn't knock them for what they did. I just, like, damn, bitch. First time I seen somebody do coke was in sixth grade. And these boys is doing it. I said, what the fuck? They're like, oh, you should try it. No, I should not. Baby, did y'all see Lady Sing the Blues? I did. And I know drugs will fuck you up. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. No man, my mama and daddy gonna beat thine ass. And I don't want my ass whooped. But yep, so that scared the shit out of me too. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For having that movie out for me to watch and get terrified of drugs. But yeah. But we... My favorite. I keep asking myself, am I going to stop? I said, when the doctor say, bitch, it's fucking with something. Oh, I'm cool. Then I just have to chew it, you know, swallow it or, you know, make brownies, which is fine with me. But until then, puff, puff ass. But I do think I am going to make some edibles. And what I did last time that had fucked us up real bad is I put this whole bag in the in the cake mix. I mean, you see weed all through that motherfucker. And when I tell you, it was so good, though, because you didn't taste it. But that motherfucking shit put your ass down. Got down. I had one piece. That was it. Bam. I'm cool as fuck. I don't want no more of that shit. And my friend fucked it up and his ass was sitting in that couch and he was just like, why is he playing the piano with no piano? Everybody was just stuck. Fucked up. Nobody wanted to go to work. Bitch, I'm going to work. <laughs> Suck on this coffee. Peace, but when I had that piece, I was sitting on the floor and I was stoning this outfit, and I was just like, and I was exhausted. Bitch, take your high ass to bed, and I just crashed out, and I was done. Not eating that shit no more. Make some cereal bars. How you make that with uh, marshmallows? I was thinking about making some rice, some rice krispies treat, cause you know that ain't nothing marshmallows and um, and uh, the rice krispies. But I was thinking about doing that, <coughs> <coughs> but I don't know because I don't, I don't boil it, I don't steam it and get all that. I mix, I grind it up real good, and then I um. But I don't grind, I don't use the scissors when I'm about to bake with it. I got, I got a, a grinder that I use just for that. But I got a grinder 
that I grind it up real good, get the stems and all that shit out. I know Shay grind those bitches up too. And uh, throw it all up in there. But I can't throw the whole bag in there again because that's too strong. That's put your ass out. That I don't need that strong. So I'm going to try to do like half of it to see, you know, what it kind of gives me. But I put that whole motherfucking bag in there. And I try to be cute to get a regular piece. And it that regular piece put thine on thine. <clears throat> yeah, the Rice Krispie treats. You got the marks up. Yeah. With the butter. Yeah, you know, and just keep going. You gotta keep stirring and stirring and stirring and add and add until whatever. But I don't know if if the weed is going to really be well I guess it would though, because the steam of it and the heat would just automatically just get that stuff to sweat though now. But I'm trying to work on different stuff, you know. And I'm, somebody told me I should make some for a couple of stores, so <clears throat> I'm going to see what I could do and uh, check with, uh, see about my, get about license, about the bacon, start learning about the bacon and stuff, what kind of class, if it's a class I need to take or if it's some type of license I need to have. Because I want to make some shit that's going to put people, like, bitch, the just cakes be off. The chain. Yeah. So I'm, I'm working on something like that. You know what I mean? But shit, if I could sit back and bake all day and make me a couple of hundreds, thousands, baby, psh, give me two of them motherfucking ovens. I'll rent this motherfucking apartment out next door to me. And tell her, I don't need nobody living over there. I'm going to pay that fucking rent too. Baby, I'm going to be, this, I'm going to have this shit popping. Just baking up the ass. And it will be coming like this. And then I have to move into like a bakery shop. Because I'm going to be baking my ass off. Bitch, let's, let's bake this shit. So I got some shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. That I'm thinking about trying to do. I got to try to see how I can not twirl that in with the other shit I got going on. But the good thing about that is I have a cousin that's really good with figuring out shit. So I can tell him, hey, do the research on the bacon and find out what kind of license we need to have. And they get the agent. Good morning. It's 9.36 and I am in thine house. Sitting on thine couch. Smoking thine weed. And I am so happy. To be. H-O-M motherfucking E. It was nothing like waking up in thine bed to sit on thine toilet and scrub my ass in my own fucking shower. It was amazing. Don't nobody understand the feeling that I have received when I was able to do those three things and to cook in my own fucking kitchen last night, baby, please. Whew. Oh, my God. I was gone a whole month, a fucking month. I did not sing thine nothing. It feels so good to be home. 
I mean, it feels so good to be home. It seemed like. I don't know. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> that dinner was bomb. I had this dressing or stuffing. Some chicken breast parts that was like cut, you know, like strips. Some string beans. Some corn. And I did some, um, oh no, I didn't even make the corn. Um, and some black eyed peas with some jalapenos. Baby, that shit was the bomb. And that gravy that I made, let me tell you what kind of gravy it was. It was the gravy that comes in the jar that you get at the grocery store. I can't think. Hunts or Heinz or Hurts, one of them damn places. I mean, one of them damn jars. And it was that, it was that, uh, it was that gravy. I'm trying to think what the name of it. It was just gravy. The brown one. Got that, chopped up some onions, chopped up some bell pepper, and left that in a, um, and then sauteed that with some damn seasoning a little bit, with some chicken broth, and poured that shit in there. But first, let me tell you how you get all this gravy out. You got to pour the gravy out of the jar, right? Then you get the chicken broth. You pour that into the jar. You tighten it back up. You shake it. Wop, 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 wop. Let all that extra gravy go into the chicken broth. Pour that into the thing, and then the whole jar should be kind of, you know, more clean. Then you got all the gravy out. You put in the bell peppers, brrr, dice them small. Onions, brrr, small. Put them in there, a little seasoning, let that shit just boil. Baby, the flavor into that was off the chain. But the kicker was, I put some damn bacon bits in there. Over. I ate so much last night, my stomach was hurting. I went to bed with a damn stomach ache. Because I was stuffed like a motherfucker. And it was so good. Oh, it was fucking amazing. 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 Stream beans. Take that juice out. Just leave maybe just a little bit of that juice. Pour you some chicken stock in there. Throw a little salt and pepper or, you know, a little seasoning or whatever. Not a lot. Just watch the flavor in that. Them black eyed peas with them jalapenos and some of that juice. It gives you the flavor of the jalapeno. It's a small little kick, but it's not something that's going to bam off in your ass. Now, if you want a bammer with that, then you know, you know to do just add or just whatever. But that was so perfect. And I learned the jalapeno trick from my auntie. She didn't have it now. But she, um, the first time I had black eyed peas, I had hers. And I was like, Girl, you know, black eyed peas, them look like eyes, little black eyes looking at me. So I was like, oh. So I tried them because she was in the kitchen with us. And I was like, oh, my God. And I think I'm, no, what? I'm like 15, 16. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got to eat this stuff. And she in the kitchen. And she was my favorite aunties, right? So I'm like, I'm like, oh, wait, this kind of good, right? So I'm like, okay, let me get this. Bam, bam, fucking them up, right? So my cousin was like, you like them? I'm like, yeah, they good. So he had a lot on his plate, so he put them all on my plate. I'm like, fuck. But they were so bomb to me until I was like, damn, these, <laughs> these black eyed peas and this jalapenos is kicking ass. So I fucked those up with no problem. She was like, you like those? Girl, yes, I love these. And it was my first time having them because I just, my mom put some on a plate, you know, for New Year's. I'm like, mm, eat that mushy, dry shit. And then I'll be cool. But them motherfucking jalapenos, baby, and them black eyed peas was everything. But look, y'all, good morning. Y'all have a wonderful day. This is on number five. And I got to go take my baby to Chuck E. Cheese. See y'all later.